You all, I, I, I used to um, uh, really find it difficult to find my place as a, as a preacher. Uh, because I, I grew up in the Black Baptist Church, and everybody hooped. And some of y'all don't know what hooping is, and it's not basketball. It's when you sing when you preach. And all the black preachers, mm -hmm, when they would preach, they would preach like this, and that made you a real preacher. And so if you were a black man and you didn't do what I'm doing right now, you were told you can't preach. Well, I couldn't do that. Because that wasn't me. And guess what? People would not let me come because they say he sounds too white. So then I go to the white church. And they would stand in one place and share three points and a poem. And then I would move from behind the pulpit and deacons and security people were getting up. I didn't fit with the black people. I didn't fit with the white people. And I had to learn man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Youth worker, be yourself. Be yourself. Stop trying to be like the youth worker up the street. Be the way God has made you. If you're heavy, walk with your heaviness. If you're skinny, turn to the side. Be yourself. Be, be yourself. God made you. Be yourself. Tell the person next to you, be yourself. Stop looking in the Christian journals and finding out what the look is. And then trying to build a ministry on externalities. In the heart of the inner city with a bunch of gang members and druggies, we started a youth ministry, and guess what? For over 18 years, I preached in a suit and tie, and most of our ministry was outside in the summer. You know why? Because I like a suit and a tie. And I'm going to wear what I want to wear because God ain't looking what I got on the outside. He's looking at the substance that is on the inside. Amen. Amen. 